Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We didn't get Foot Birthday today, and we got an SBC that we needed about a month ago, and EA just kind of randomly dropped that in our laps today, dropped it on the game, and of course there's going to be plenty of market movements because people just love these Icon Upgrade SBCs, and that is what we got today, the middle Icon Upgrade. And now... This has done a number to the market today in terms of fodder. I'm going to show you some cards that I sold. Literally, SBC fodder is at an all-time high. It's higher than it was when the baby icon came out. It's higher than it was for Player of the Month Messi. And it's basically, it's never been this high for some of the higher rated cards. Oblock, 90, is Oblock 91? 91 rated Oblock was extinct at 110,000 coins as a 91 rated player earlier tonight. This SBC costs you around 600,000 coins according to the footbin machine, uh, which is exactly what it sells, 600K. Literally everything has gone up in price today, fodder-wise, because EA was very smart when they designed this SBC. They designed it so that it would hit all different areas of the market of fodder. Two 85-rated squads and an 88-rated squad. So you're getting 84s through 86s and maybe some 87s for those 85-rated squads to be completed. And then you're having 87s, 88s, 89s, 90s, and even 91s for the 88 rated squad. So they're covering all the fodder basically from 84 and 85 all the way up through 91 and requiring it and, and making it useful. And you can tell the, the massive influence that it had on other SBCs today. This Bruno Fernandez SBC, which was like 700K before, 676,000 coins. It was 700K right away. 674k after rewards on thursday the man is now over a million coins so if you did not do any of these sbcs right away don't panic like if you want to do bruno player of the month and i told people to wait because i thought the fodder could come down but that was based on us getting um the sb or the promotion today of foot birthday which we did not end up getting which was a disappointment so uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but this SBC is out for like 20, 27 more or 25 more days or something like that. You'll have time, right? The fodder will not get as low as it got last week, but there will be opportunities to kind of craft these SBCs. We're going to be getting upgrade packs. There's a new pack that's in the code. So I'll talk about that a little bit as well. But this SBC that came out today literally changed the entire fodder market. Did it change many things across the market? Elsewhere, not a ton. Icon prices weren't really affected by this. There might have been a little bit of panic around the 6 p.m. drop. I, I wasn't actually on to see it myself, um, but I did not see too much panic with that. I was able to flip an icon tonight on stream. That was a nice profit. Then, But just look at the prices of some of these cards. I bought Griezmann, 37K. I bought Aguero for 35K. Lewandowski was 33. Busquets, 36. Chiellini was 35. I sold. I had probably... 25 to 30 89 rated cards on my transfer list that I sold last week for 10k profit a card. Of course, today I would have been making 30 profit, 30,000 coins profit per card, which would have been incredible. So if you guys were still had fodder in your transfer list or in your club, and these were all the cards that were in my club still from a club stock, and I cleared it out today because if you have not cleared it out yet, I think this is the highest that fodder will get. We're gonna start getting pack supply SBCs. I think. Uh, the fodder just cannot maintain this high of a price for that long because I think people will start to realize this SBC is not that good of value. Seriously, if we go take a look, this SBC costs 600,000 coins. If we go take a look in FIFA at the price of the mid icons that you can get, uh, and of course, this is all of the most of this doing is the casuals, right? Some people are doing these mid icons. It, it, People just get sucked into these because you have the opportunity to pack Hullet, R9, uh, Eusebio, but you don't. Like Nobody gets those. Rarely do people get those out of these packs. You get these guys. Look at how many icons are under 600k value. I'm going to skip ahead to page three. That's where we have to go to find all of the icons that are under a you know quote-unquote break-even value for the SBC cost. Kaka, 550. Like, the list that you have to get that is above 600K is literally not even a full page. It's like three quarters of a page here on Footbin, and then the other two pages are under that price. So you have basically a 30% chance, like maybe like a 25% chance, um, if the pack weight was even, 
which it's definitely not. So you, you literally have, like, it's like a 5% chance of packing somebody, maybe 10% chance of packing somebody over, um, over 600K. So it's not very good value, in my opinion. If you want to craft one, if you're foot rich, if you've got a lot of coins and you want to craft one just to do it, and then be my guest. You know what? It's it's have it's the time of the game to have fun, right? But just keep in mind that we have tots coming soon, right? Five or six hundred thousand coins of a mid icon upgrade. That's a lot of upgrade packs during team of the season. That's the way that I'm thinking of it right now. But it has just thrown fodder for a loop. 90 rated players. Ter Stegen's 80k. He was like 45k, 50k. And look at all of these 89s, man. It's crazy. How expensive some of these are 60k minimum for all these cards um even some like informs are getting pushed up in price because they are getting submitted as some of the highest rated cards lukaku's wants to watch this card was like a 20,000 coin 25 26,000 coin card uh and it was going down because of you know the syria and competitions being halted 28k and now this man is boomed to 42 just being one of the cheapest cards as its rating of 88 rated um, which is just crazy. 87s are 30k. It's it's nuts. 86s are 21, 22k for some of them. It's crazy. It is crazy. Now, are these prices going to stay forever? No. We're going to be getting pack supply. This pack was added into the code today. It's a guaranteed. If you can't see it, it's kind of behind my face cam. Guarantees a rare gold player rated 84 or higher. It's right here too. 84 plus rare player. I think this is just going to be just like 83 plus. But it's going to be 84. What is this going to require? In my opinion, we're talking 83 rated squad and probably like 50 or 60 chemistry. Depends on what EA wants to do. If they made it anything less than an 83 squad requirement, that would be probably cheap in my opinion. And I think more people would go out and do it. If they require like an 82 rated squad, that would be that'd be very interesting. But I don't expect this SPC to make a lot of waves because when we get these upgrades, you know, it doesn't affect the the fodder prices is that much because you're only getting one card and it's 84 plus. You're probably going to get a lot of 84s and 85s out of this. And that will help you do like the first part of an icon pack, but you're going to have to pay if it's, if it's a 82 rated or 83 rated squad, you're going to have to pay 20 K to do one of these 20,000 coins ish, or maybe like 15 K to do an 84 rated squad or an 83 rated squad to get an 84 rated plus player that sells for 2000 coins, the cheapest 84 is like 2K, like that is really not good value. So I don't think people will be doing too many of those. People might try, but it's just not, just not a good move by EA. But that is something that I do think we could see today. Speaking of other content that we saw today, EA messed up on some of the objectives. So there's a rare player pack objective, which you basically just have to win games for. And they messed up on some of that because supposedly before it was, you got the objective for completing SBCs. Uh, it's this one right here. But you get a 50k pack if you win 20 matches in any foot game mode in basically a week. So you have a week to win 20 games. And you get a 50k pack. So if you play the game at all, if you're grinding icon swap still, that's a W for you. Or if you have more time on your hands because you're at home maybe um, because of a lockdown or a quarantine, then that is also a W for you as well. But again... The market this weekend, there's definitely people playing weekend league. There's more people on this game. You can just tell, um, not really because of the prices, really, but you can tell based on uh, the number of active transfers. 2.3 million transfers right now in the dead of night is a little bit more. I mean, I've seen this before at like 1.5 mil. Earlier tonight when I was streaming, when it's usually around this range, it was at like three mil. So there's more people playing the game right now. And I think EA missed a huge opportunity today to run a promotion and run for the foot birthday promotion um, because there was a lot of people in tune with the game today friday again with people at home being quarantined and stuff there was a huge opportunity for them and they they didn't take advantage of it they didn't run the promotion today so i guess it's coming next week some people ask me hey is foot birthday going to come today on saturday i just don't think that's possible because the only time that it that EA doesn't run. In my memory, they, they run promos and they drop them every Friday. That's their, their drop time. Uh, Monday is for starting team of the year. It, like they always start team of the year on a Monday. That's like the only other time that I know that they don't start a promo on a Friday. So I would not expect foot birthday to start today on Saturday. If it does, well then EA, I would, I would gladly love you to uh, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong on that because I would love a nice little promotion. But 
I don't think I wouldn't expect too much today, expect for the except for the 84 plus pack SBC. And I would sell your fodder because tomorrow we could very well get a pack supply SBC as well. Something in here that's just like a, a 25k pack or a 35k pack tradable that would bring some supply on the market and that could drop these high rated card prices as well a little bit. And this is going to be interesting for fodder for literally the next, you know, this SBC is out for, um, it's out for like 20, 26 or 27 days. It's out for four weeks, basically. This mid-icon SBC, it's gonna be very interesting to watch fodder over those next couple of weeks because now fodder has you know some consistent demand. We saw these 86 rated cards at 12,000 coins last week because of um, the two for one packs. That's not gonna happen again for the next 27 days because if these cards would ever get that low again, people would realize, okay, there's still a icon SBC upgrade that you can do right now and these icon upgrade SBCs are one of the most popular ones that you can do people are going to be saving their they're going to be taking division rivals rewards for the next couple of weeks on foot to in order to try to craft these SBCs like these icon upgrade SBCs are like addicting to people on foot I don't know what it is if you just would look into the actual quality of stuff that you're going to get out of it it's not worth it at all but people still grind them and people still do them. So this is gonna cause some demand for these cards. These 86 rated, right now 22K for Thomas Muller. How much are they gonna drop later this week? Or if we do get a promo, that's gonna be something that we have to watch. Like if we ever get a chance to do a club stock on these cards again, if they get down to 14,000 coins, it's going to require some big time, you know, panic or pack supply from a promotion that would happen on a weekend for that to happen. But when they get down there again, we're gonna probably have to stock up on them because if you look at these cards from when the baby icon SBC came out earlier in the year, so the baby came out right here. 10,000 coins with no SBCs before the baby icon. Baby icon comes out, booms up to 20,000, and then he chills, like right, boom, 16, 17 K. We get a promo or something, he dips to 14, right back up to 16. Get a promo or something, drops to 14, 15, boom, right back up to 16, 17. So whenever we see these cards, and this baby icon SBC was literally out from here until here. Then it went away. Then it came back again. Or we had foot miss basically. Or no, team of the year, post team of the year, SBCs, headliners, a lot of stuff that happened in there. But this whole time frame right here that you're looking at where they where they, where they stayed like, you know, 16, 17, 18K most of the time. That's what it's going to be like for the next for the next couple of, of weeks, for the next three weeks or so. That's what you're going to see, not only with 86 rated, but with 87 and 88 rated cards as well. Dybala's 44,000 coins right now. Uh, this is not a good example because he was just overpriced as a usable card. Let's look at Cavani. He was SBC fodder. Boom. Goes up to 35,000 coins. And like I said before, these cards right now are higher than they ever were for a baby icon SBC. They went to 35, 37, maybe even 40K here. He's 46, 47,000 coins right now. And again, he stayed high. He went to 27 and then bounced right back to 32 and then stayed around the 30K mark for the next couple of weeks while that SBC was out. So we're going to be, it's going to be interesting to trade with these cards. I don't trade with high rated golds a lot. I like to do a club stock, sell them when they go high, but these cards, we're going to have to watch the fluctuations on a lot during rewards periods, during promo Fridays and promo Saturdays during lightning rounds, because these cards are going to be very, very good to trade with on a fluctuation level um, in the next coming weeks because they're gonna have that consistent demand. But also, they're gonna be good to trade with on the daily. And you're like, yo, how how are they gonna be good to trade with on the daily? What happens is, how much is Allison? It says Allison is 57K right now on Footbin. What happens is, the cards that show as the cheapest on Footbin, you actually go into foot, and a lot of times, as long as that price has not been upgraded right away, they are actually not the cheapest card on foot because what happens is they get into the cheapest solution and all of a sudden that makes their price go up because people uh, do not like to do the work themselves. They like to follow an easy solution. Allison is 63,000 coins at the moment. On Footbin, he shows at 57. So how do you trade with this stuff? I do this all the time with players during uh, foot miss that got into the solutions and that got in there the most often. You're going to see this guy like Allison get into the solutions a lot. Brazilian, Liverpool, easy links. I know he's a goalkeeper, but he's going to get into them a lot. Basically, what you do on footbin 
is you look at the cards that are not at the very lowest stage, right? I like I like to do this with 87s during footmas. So Insigne is 32k, Mertens is 32k. Aranguiz is this is a man of the match card. Anytime you find a card that's out of packs that makes it on this list that is like one of the lowest ones, those can fluctuate some of the most as well. Um, just a note. But let's say Casemiro, 33,000 coins for Casemiro. It says he's not one of the cheapest, but it, you know he's you know two or three k above what the cheapest 87 is on footbin. Is Casemiro out here? All right, Casemiro is actually 33k, but that's what you can do. You can kind of look through this list. Let's look at Mertens too. Mertens was kind of there, kind of like not. Okay, Mertens is high because he's actually kind of low on there. Um, like Laporte, how much is Laporte? 33k for Laporte. Nope. Probably because you need chemistry. He's a bit inflated. 34,000 coins, 35k. Maybe something like that. Because he's a little inflated because you need chemistry. But uh, Mertens was... There were no Mertens that were popping up at 33, 34k. Laporte is actually 33k. He's probably not popping up in that many solutions. Um, because he's not showing as one of the cheapest cards on Footbin. But again, this is a very popular... And, you know, actually not popular, just kind of an overlooked trading method that you can fluctuation trade with these high rateds. And you can actually fluctuation trade with high rated informs as well, using the same method, just kind of looking at which ones get into the solutions. Then they rise up because everybody uses them for the SBC. Then they go back down because uh, they don't get into the cheapest SBC solutions, right? It's all about who's in the cheapest SBC and how that price fluctuates up and down. As go, people go doing the SBC, rises the card price. Then another solution becomes the cheapest. People go and use that one. And then this one falls back down. It's just the story of these two cards going up and down. So you're going to see some of these like 87s and 86s might fluctuate, you know, in like the off hours of the nighttime. And even during the daytime when people are on doing these packs, you might see a Rakitic go from like 19K uh, to 23, 24K. Not a lot of big profit there, but... You can also just list these cards for lazies and get sales in that in that price range as well because people are doing this SBC. It may be crazy to you guys, um, but it is what it is. People love these upgrades for some reason. Please don't do this SBC. If, if I could tell you anything, and it's the casuals that are doing this. Again, it's the casuals and the people that you know don't really pay attention to is something really a good value. People just see the opportunity here to pack a middle hullet or a middle... Cruyff or a middle Ronaldinho, but how often does that happen? It does not happen that often. One of my friends actually packed a middle Ronaldinho today, so I feel kind of, you know, weird saying that it doesn't happen that often, but I watched it happen today. Uh, he just got lucky, right? So if you're going to do any one of these, try to do it with as many untradeable players as you can, is what I would say, uh, because you're probably going to end up getting somebody like Lehman, Gattuso, Litmanen, or uh, somebody just not uh, the, the tier of card that you actually want to get. But again, some people think we're getting foot birthday today. I doubt that we get that on a Saturday. It would not seem likely to me, uh, but I guess it is possible. And I want to make one mention about team of the week moments. Uh, team of the week moments, number one. These cards were at their lowest. Like Bale was 310K at rewards. If we get some sort of pack supply and you see this guy get back down to like 320 or 330, these cards, uh, the meta ones, the, a lot of the, like the SBC ones have risen out of packs, but the meta ones that are not used as SBCs. So maybe a Lingard, a, a Walker, a Alaba, and a um, possibly Paulinho, but also Gareth Bale. These cards are going to be great investments out of packs, in my opinion, because at the moment, uh, these are not getting supplied a lot on the market this week. And whenever we have team of the weeks that don't undergo lightning rounds or a ton of pack supply SBCs, they rise really well out of packs because they're so rare. So we might have missed the actual best buy time on some of those. We'll have to watch that today, tomorrow, whatever happens with content for the rest of this week. But I like team of the week moments rising out of packs. We did get some more uh, objectives today. As I pointed out, that 50K pack SBC, not bad value, not terrible. GG, thank you, EA. Uh, but it just seems like it was a, uh, you know, a missed opportunity by EA Sports this weekend with the possibility of running a promo and just not ending up and uh, and going and doing it. So it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. If you're doing these mid icons, I'm opening a lot of them on stream. I would love to open them for you guys. They're fun, right? I think that's part of the addictiveness of them. They're fun. 
because you're getting a very top tier player uh, and you could get something amazing. So that's the pull to these players, like getting an icon in a pack. You know, people want to pack icons and I think that's just the biggest draw to these and why people want to do them so bad. If you enjoyed this, guys, if you enjoyed this video, guys, uh, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or trading things around this video. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'll probably have a video coming out soon of me opening these uh, just to show you that they are not worth it and it will confirm your suspicions that these are definitely not worth it uh, once you see the pulls that come out of them. But it's been your boy, Nate, the foot account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.